after surgery care is vital for your good healing. Um, you know, people feel like, oh, this is an outpatient surgery, it's not a major thing, and sometimes actually we have to remove very little, and it's a primary closure. Everyone wants to rush right back to their day. Um, we all have big to-do lists, um, but it's really important that after the surgery you take it easy. Um, some people that are with us actually have big procedures and, and they know they need to take it easy and they're, they're pretty just wiped out, just kind of tired from all the strain of waiting um, and being operated on. Um, but So it's important that the day of surgery, I don't want you to plan any other activities. Just plan to go home, watch a movie, read a book, take it easy. Um, the night after your surgery, uh, many times it's, it's uh, wise to sleep with the head of the bed elevated somewhat with at least two pillows um, on up to sleeping in a recliner, whatever's most um, comfortable for you. Um, it's important not to lift greater than 10 pounds after the surgery for one week. Um, so weightlifting, working out, um, yard work, scooping snow, vacuuming even, those are off limits. Um, we don't want you to bend with your head lower than your waist if you've had surgery on the head and neck area. That increases the blood flow, increases your risk of bleeding, um, and we want to avoid that if at all possible. So we ask that you not bend. Um, the other thing is, is thinking about being prepared with ice. It's great to have ice packs that you'll put right over your bandage, keeping your bandage dry, but putting ice right over the bandage for 20 minutes every hour while you're awake after the surgery. Um, there's a huge benefit to that. Don't ever underestimate the power of ice. Um, usually there's not a lot of pain after surgery. Um, in fact, uh, there's minimal. Um, sometimes it feels a bit like a deep bruise and that's about the worst it should feel. We recommend Tylenol and ice for pain control. If you have any discomfort that's out of proportion or that doesn't, isn't taken care of by those two simple measures, we need to know about that because that can be a sign of bleeding under the skin or infection. So we'd want you to give us a call. Generally, um, we have you come back a week later to get stitches out. If you're traveling a long distance to us and you have a local primary care provider who would be um, willing to take your stitches out, we're fine um, about having that done. Or if you have a family member who's comfortable taking stitches out in a week that may be a nurse, um, then that's also good. We like to prevent trips back and forth. However, um, we also do like to see you a week after your surgery to make sure that you're healing well. And so we're happy to see you and take those stitches out for you. Taking stitches out is um, actually a very easy procedure. It takes about five to 10 minutes. It's a quick visit. It's a painless visit as long as you have taken care of your wound as we instruct. The key to this is keeping it clean, moist with Vaseline or Aquaphor and covered with a Band-Aid at all times. The old adage of, oh, let air get to it, and let it dry out, let a scab form, um, that is wrong. <laughs> that is wrong and that's been proven time and time again. This is no newfangled medical thing um, that we're telling you, you need to keep it moist and keep it covered. And that it will all be reviewed with you with by your nurse after your surgery and will be written in a brochure that will go home with you.